Okay, in this video we're checking out the uh, iFlight IH4 frame. This is the 4-inch version of the IH3, though one of my favorite uh, micro frames. And now this is where, like, in that in between, you know, 3 and 5 inch, the 4 inch. And this is a unibody frame, as you can probably see from the, the size of the bag. So, you know, obviously we're going to get a lot of comments down below on, oh, this is going to break if you crash. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Depends on how heavy you build it out and obviously where you crash it. Of course, uh, no frame is indestructible. Uh, yeah, obviously, you know, if you're going to go four or five inch, you probably want, in, you know, some sort of a boomerang arm, something like that. But, you know, uh, at this size, I think it's going to be a lighter frame because it's not um, separated arms with extra screws and extra carbon plates and everything like that. But, you know, we're going to put this together and we'll see how much it weighs. And, yes, yeah, so you guys can decide if it's worth it or not to go unibody or separated arms. Okay, so I got all the uh, pieces out here. And one of the things I just noticed in... And I'd actually forgotten about is that this comes with a different set of camera side plates here. This is here is the standard one that you guys are probably familiar with. Um, this one here is the new one. And has, uh, this little thing piece that juts out on the top here and some extra M2 holes. And this is for basically mounting a separate camera. So you can have your, say like a split mini um, FPV camera here and then a separate extra FPV camera for those of those guys that don't like to fly through the split mini because of the uh, you know the bad video and like the noise or whatever uh, you could, there's, this gives you the option of mounting two cameras and then flying through like say what camera you like like uh, Aero or split oh, I'm sorry not split or like a Swift and then uh, recording HD video on the other type of camera and of course, uh, just like the IH3, you have the dual stack mounting option here. Two 20 by 20 stack uh, mounts, mount points, and there, these are M3 holes, it looks like. And it looks like this, this bottom plate here is actually quite a bit thicker. So it's, it's about 4 millimeters thick, and the regular IH3 is 3 millimeters thick. So I guess if you're concerned that this might break, it is thicker, and it's also heavier. So that's probably why they went with a unibody instead of separated arms. It's fairly stiff. I mean, there's a little bit of flexor because it's so thin in the body here. So they might have an effect on the flight characteristics, but it's pretty solid. I think that if, as long as you're not going into the ground at 150 miles an hour, you're probably going to be okay. Anyway, here's a quick look at the explosion diagram. It actually shows you how it's put together. You have four millimeters here, two millimeter top plate, two millimeter side plates, got your alternative camera cage there as well, and then it shows you that you can also mount your flight control or whatever on the under the top plate upside down. We've seen that before on their um, bind and flies or plug and play builds. So obviously it should be pretty easy build. Get this together and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll give you a weight measurement. Okay, so this is what it looks like uh, all put together. Just like the uh, IH3 frame, just a little bit bigger, thicker bottom plate, uh, 22 millimeter in height here for your dual stacks, so plenty of room for your components. Uh, standard 19 millimeter camera width here, so you can put a, one camera up here and then one down in here. Yeah, obviously the one up here is going to be kind of exposed, and if, if your battery's up here, maybe the battery might take some of the hit, but yeah, this one here it looks a bit exposed, so you might want to maybe see if anyone has any 3D part, printed parts here. You could probably mount that to the outside of this screw hole here that to give a little bit of more camera protection you probably have a little shroud or something on each side shouldn't be too hard to even design one um yeah but this looks pretty nice um you got some looks like either nine or 12 millimeter holes m2 holes are for different motor sizes so you can go small motors if you want but i think for something like this yeah, the smallest motor you probably want to go is like a 1306 motor yeah i might even i think i might actually try the the 6S 1505 motor that I have from Hobby Made on here. And since it's a low KV motor, you could probably fly it on 4S on a 4 inch and probably get some really efficient flight times on this. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, it's like a 750 850 4S lipo. So, what do you guys think? Uh, you know, obviously, 4 inch is going to be more efficient than 3 inch, so you might be able to do some decent uh, mid to long range on this one, perhaps, if you can get some good flight times. Uh, I would imagine something good would be like in the range of 10 to 15 minutes, I suppose, something like that. But yeah, let's see, uh, let's see how much this thing weighs. So it's coming in at 57 grams, so I have no idea uh, if it's good or bad for a 4-inch frame for 
HD video. Um, yeah, you guys let me know in the comments below if you've seen, if you think there's another 4 inch frame out there that's better than this for HD video with the dual uh, 20 by 20 stack mount. Um, yeah, some, something that might be more efficient. Yeah, it would be interesting to know. I don't really know a whole lot of 4 inch frames out there, so. Uh, if you guys don't know of any, yeah, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I think I will probably be building this out at some point in the future. I'm definitely looking at I think about those 1505 motors, low KV, uh, and see if I can get some super efficient flight times in that one. So anyway, stay tuned for a future video on this one, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.